welcome back once again so in our previous part we have completed our item 1 and our uh, item 2 and item 1 part and in this part where I'm gonna show you how can we start working for item 3 part okay so inside this our item 3 that is our this one in here we will add a grid view and we will show our data in a grid view okay so for that how um, for that first we need to open our item 3 so as you can see this it this is an empty class that is item 3 so first we need to add our fire store function so first we need to add our future so add future so future is going to we can say get grid view so add async and inside this async first we need to create a variable for our fire store and now in here we need to add firestore dot instance make sure that you have imported this firestore and we need to add our query snapshot is going to be snap is gonna be you wait and our firestore dot collection and we can say collection name grid grid data dot we can say uh, we can simply say get documents okay like the same process that we have done that we did for previous two parts so return we need to return our snapshot dot documents okay we are ready to go and now right after that so from our uh, for our grid view we will only show our we will only show our um, what you can say we will only show image nothing else so then add our so in here we need to add our refresh indicator so we have added our refresh indicator in our previous part therefore i'm gonna copy so copy your refresh indicator because we need same line of code so future get refresh async you wait future dot delight duration second tree and inside the status state just change the function name for this one name is mm, get grid view okay now in here we need to add our so first change this container to scaffold widget as we are inside our like inside this modern navigation bar and we already have a tab bar therefore we do not need to have uh, any app bar here so we can directly go for body part so first we need to add here future uh, we need to add future builder and as you already know that future builder contains two parameters itself first one is our future that is our get grid view that we have just created right here and our second one is our builder and builder contain a uh, building contain a context and we need to add our snapshot and inside this snapshot first we need to add a if condition so if our snapshot dot data snapshot dot data i'm sorry so snapshot dot connection state Call the call connection state dot waiting then we will have to return center so we need to add return center center and inside this center we need to add child child is going to be circular progress indicator okay now in here we need to add the else condition else is going to be inside in here so previously we were using list view dot builder inside our else condition okay so after refresh indicator we were using list view dot builder so for this part as i said that we need to add here grid view so that you can learn how to implement grid view so therefore instead of using list view builder we need to add grid view so first return our refresh indicator so refresh indicator and refresh indicator contains two parameters first one is on refresh actually it takes couple of parameters but two parameters are mandatory for us so get refresh and this one is for our child and in here we are going to use grid view dot title so like grid view builder instead of using list view dot builder that we have in our previous two items so in this part i'm going to show you how can we work with grid view so grid view dot builder have a uh, grid view builder has a couple of parameters itself so it says that grid view delegate it means that inside this grid view delegates we need to define like how many 
data item we want to show in one show so for that we need to add we'll have to add silver grid delegate with fixed cross axis fixed cross axis count and in here we need to add cross axis count to let's say we need to have we would like to add two images in one one show okay if you want to add three then you can say three if you want to add one you can add one and for this item builder okay so before this item builder we need to define our length okay so for length we need to add it has a parameter called item count we need to add here our snapshot dot data dot length okay the same thing that we have done on for our list builder builder so this snapshot is our this snapshot we just need to take the length so we are saying it saying that we need to have the total length and for this item builder in here we need to add first one is context and we need to add, pass here our index so we can say in here we need to add our index and in here we need to add our return so we need to return this thing here so after return we need to add we can say we can add a card view direct here so we can add a card view so add a card view so that we can show our image on a card view and add elevation we can say elevation 10.0 add shape shape is rounded rectangular border and border radius is gonna be border radius dot circular at 20.0 and then we need to add our child and our child will be our image so for adding an image we can add clipper react so that we can add border radius so border radius is going to be border radius dot circular we can say 20.0 and now in here we need to add child a child is going to be uh, image dot network and we, in here we need to add our data so for that what we can say here so inside our item builder so let's add a variable we can say var our data is gonna be our snapshot dot data and i'm gonna pass the index position and i'm going to pass the index position and in here we can add our data dot data and pass the uh, image field that we will add into our uh, firestore and we don't need to mention the height here and just need to add the fit and going to be fit box fit dot cover so we are ready to go now if i run it then if i run it then we can see this one we can also see the refresh indicator we can see the circular progress indicator but we don't have any data therefore we are not getting anything so we need to create a collection that name is grid data that we have created here so grid data so create a new collection so we start collection new collection and auth id click on auth id and our field name is image and in here we need to add image field so i'm going to copy some images from my firestore so i can go for this one so copy this download url paste it here so this one is first item uh, i'm gonna add few more items so i am i am g and i'm gonna add change the image add this url here now let me refresh this space so if i do pull to refresh we might see our data here we go see we can see our create view as we have two data we can see two let me add few more data here so add field image here and i'm gonna add the third image then add another one image here then d add here for auth id image and for we can see this c number like we can see this c number image and we can see this download url and sls number b number b and paste it like you can add as much image as you want to show into your grid view as i have only few images therefore i'm gonna copy all of this thing so auth id and field is going to be image and value is going to be this one all right
So now let me do put pull to refresh and hopefully we'll be able to see all of our data. Here we go. See now we can see all of our images in a grid view. It is taking a few more times to load the data from the server. It depends on the internet speed, what internet speed you have. So also we can see the card view and the shadow as well. Okay. So hope you understand how to do this thing and I am fairly sure that you guys has learned a lot of new things in this video. So we have successfully implemented our grid view into our application and I think we have completed our application. Now we don't need to have any other part. So therefore I'm going to stop this video over here and we will start working with our. So. So we have successfully implemented all of this part of our application and we don't need to have anything in this application. See, we can see all of our data. So I hope you enjoy this course. So I'm going to stop this video right here. And okay, so we have everything in our. Okay, so do one thing we can add here a grid like uh, like the navigation drawer, so it will look good. Creating a uh, navigation drawer, we just need to add. So before the body tag in here, we need to add a drawer. Drawer is going to be a drawer. So if we add this drawer, then we will be able to get this drawer functionalities, drawer thing. And what we can say. Okay, we will add uh, some videos in some functionalities inside of our navigation drawer so that you guys can understand it. So hope you enjoy this course. So see you in the next lecture. Bye bye.